Hey, if you're watching this video right now, it's probably because your extruder is not heating up. But don't worry, it has a very easy fix. And even if your extruder is heating up, you might consider doing this very simple upgrade to prevent any future damage to your printer. Before we start, if you are a maker and love to build awesome projects, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our future projects. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. The problem we are going to cover in this video is that of the extruder not heating up at all. At first, I thought that my heating element was broken, but turns out there is no electricity arriving to the heating element in order for it to heat up. I'm going to spare you the long talk. In short, the cause of this problem is a short circuit at the heating element that most probably occurred while you were trying to clean the nozzle with a metal brush and with the power still on. Before repairing the printer, we need to make sure that you are having the same problem as I am. To do so, start by turning on your printer. After it boots up, go into the filament setting and choose to install a new filament. The first sign that shows you that you are encountering the same problem as I is that the temperature of the nozzle should be stuck at around 20 degrees. The next steps we are going to accomplish are going to be quite sensitive, since we are going to test the motherboard with the power still on, so take care not to short anything by mistake. Now, while keeping the printer in the filament installation process, remove its back plate. First, we will start by measuring the voltage at the heater connector pins using a multimeter. As you can see, my printer has no voltage at those pins. Next, try to measure the voltage between the right pin of the connector and the upper pad of the R271 thermistor. If you see a voltage now, it's probably because the thermistor is grilled and thus you have the same problem as me. Nevertheless, we will double check by measuring the continuity of the thermistor. And as you can see, there is no current flowing through mine, therefore I know that it is broken. For the next steps, where we will repair the printer, it is very important that you switch the printer off to prevent any damage. Okay, now you can try to do your research and you can even contact the support of XYZ Printing to find the specs of the thermistor and then replace it. However, I'm just going to remove it and solder its pads together, creating a short. Since it isn't really important and only serves for temperature control purposes. However, I will add a 5 amp DC fuse in series with the extruder to prevent any damage in case I shorted the extruder again. To install the fuse, simply cut one of the wires going to the extruder and solder a fuse connector in between. Then, insert a fuse in the connector and voila, you are done. But if you can find a 4 amp DC fuse, it will be even better. And I would strongly recommend to install the fuse even if your thermistor is not grilled yet. That would prevent any future damage to the motherboard. Your printer should now work like a charm. But let's do some preliminary tests to make sure that everything is working as it should. Remove the extruder connector from the motherboard. Then power on the printer. And again, go to the filament menu and try to install a new filament. After that, using your voltmeter, measure the voltage at the connected pins. And if you see 12 volts, then you did a great job. You can plug in the connector and hopefully you will see plastic coming out of your extruder. Now you can continue to enjoy the marvels of 3D printing. Well, at least until the next problem arises. Let me know in the comments below if you are facing any other problem with this printer and if this video helped you solve the extruder problem. Now wait, before you go, make sure to check one of my awesome projects right here. And I can't wait to see you in my next video.